Hey everyone, I'm Natalie, CEO of My Expect Taxes and IRS Enrolled Agent. So we heard you want to know more about individual retirement accounts for expats. We'll break down all that information here in this video, so stay tuned. So you're a US expat interested in opening an IRA? Kudos to you. It's really smart to save for retirement, whether retirement is coming up soon or it's light years away. When we're talking about IRAs for expats, it can be a really dicey topic because of all the rules involved. But I guarantee if you watch this video to the end, and of course hit that like button, you'll potentially save thousands of dollars in either retirement savings or just avoiding tax penalties from opening up an IRA when you shouldn't. An IRA allows you to save up to $6,000 annually with some amazing tax benefits. But did you know there are two main IRAs to choose from? One is a traditional IRA and one is a Roth IRA. And there are some key differences between them. Even though they're both set up to be withdrawn at retirement age, which is currently set at 59 and a half, although we all know that we probably retire after that, let's just say retirement age, we'll have to go through what the key differences are so you as an expat know which IRA may be right for you. So a traditional IRA allows you to make pre-tax contributions, meaning that you get that tax benefit today because your contributions are seen as deductible on your tax return. Now, is this IRA best fit for you? Well, it's usually best fit for those that need a tax benefit today because you're paying too much US tax, right? And you believe that when you withdraw these funds, you'll be at a lower US tax rate. Now, Roth IRA allows you to make after-tax deductions, which means you're not getting any tax benefit today, but you'll get the tax benefit later on because any contributions and earnings you make off those contributions will be tax-free when you withdraw them. Meaning, if you're a really good investor or you just have a really good Roth IRA account, you could be earning up to hundreds of thousands of dollars in retirement earnings tax-free. Now, this account is best suited for those that don't need any tax deduction today because you're paying little to no tax, good for you, and that you'll be retiring in the US or another country that upholds these tax-free benefits of a Roth IRA. Now, before we even choose which IRA is best for you, let's figure out if you can even make IRA contributions because you need to have enough taxable compensation to make IRA contributions. Taxable compensation is usually salary or self-employment, other types of earned income. And the kicker, it does not include any income excluded via the foreign earned income exclusion. Let me repeat that. Taxable compensation does not include any income excluded via the foreign earned income exclusion. If this sounded like total gibberish to you, let me break it down with some numbers. You're an expat living abroad in Germany making $50,000 equivalent in salary. You decide to use the foreign earned income exclusion to exclude the entire $50,000 from your US tax return. Well, guess what? $50,000 minus $50,000 equals zero taxable income. In this situation, you cannot make any IRA contributions. And if you do make any IRA contributions, you will be taxed at 6% penalty every single year on your contribution and earnings until you withdraw it. Do not let that happen to you. So be very careful about making IRA contributions. So that was expat tax trap number one. There's of course an expat tax trap number two, and that's not understanding the fine print from the IRS. Yes, there is finer print from the IRS. A little confusing, but I'll walk you through it. If you have a US retirement account, like a 401k, you might not be able to fully deduct your traditional IRA contributions. If you are a high earner and your income is over a certain threshold, you may not be able to contribute to a Roth IRA. But there's always a but, high income might not actually be high income for everyone because if you are filing as married filing separately, that income threshold is only 10,000 US dollars. So you make over 10,000 US dollars, you may not even be able to contribute to a Roth IRA. And if you do, expect that 6% penalty tax. So don't let that happen to you and make sure you understand the fine print. Now, back to which IRA is best for you. However, a little disclaimer, even as a certified tax professional, I cannot give blanket advice on what IRA is best for you and your personal situation. If you want personal tax consulting, check out my expert taxes. We have higher support tiers where we do offer personal tax consulting. 
Otherwise, thoughts and opinions in this YouTube video is just general advice that may or may not be relevant to you. Burning question number one, when does a traditional IRA make sense for expats? So it's really good for those that need a tax deduction today. So if you owe US tax and you need to lower that down, definitely look into a traditional IRA. If you owe no tax, it's probably useless because you cannot owe less than $0. So high earners living in countries like Switzerland, Singapore, Hong Kong, just to name a few, are pretty avid users of traditional IRAs because of the tax benefit that you get today. Now, keep in mind, when you withdraw these funds, they will be taxed, but that should be okay if you're planning to retire on the beach, sipping cocktails, and you'll be at a lower US tax rate anyways. So what's on the other side? Roth IRAs. And when does a Roth IRA make sense for you as an expat? Again, these are for those that don't need that tax deduction today. They're looking to maximize it later on because those tax benefits are exponential based on how much you earn, right? Again, whatever we withdraw is tax free, but they're not good for those people that are gonna retire in a country that doesn't uphold the tax-free element of a Roth IRA. Again, let's go back to the example, living in Germany. If you're in Germany, you retire in Germany, you have a Roth IRA, you withdraw it. Guess what? Germany doesn't recognize that tax-free element, so they're gonna tax your Roth IRA and all its earnings, which is kind of useless because the whole point is that they're tax-free earnings. So Roth IRAs are for those people that don't need the tax deduction today. Again, you can contribute because you're not over the income threshold and you do plan to retire in the US or another country like the UK that does recognize the tax-free element of a Roth IRA. So you don't end up paying tax twice on contributions and when you pull out the funds. We hope you enjoyed this brief but packed overview of IRAs. And if you do have more questions that I didn't cover, there is a handy expat tax guide on myexpattaxes.com. At My Expat Taxes, we're here to help you as a US citizen abroad because we know that taxes suck, but we make them suck less, as the sign says behind me. So check out the link below for more information. And I hope you enjoyed this expat expert talk series. There'll be more to come.